Proton therapy is actually the, called the, the oldest new technology. It is really out there already for more than 30 years. The first uh, proton patient has been uh, treated in 1956. Actually, that was in Uppsala, Sweden. Uh, and so then over time, uh, more and more of the research facilities, primarily physics research facilities, started to apply protons in medicine for cancer patients. And a big step was in 1991 when at Loma Linda University Medical Center in California, the first truly hospital-based dedicated proton facility opened and started treating patients. And ever since, it started to gain in popularity um, as more and more data became available. But we are really looking at an exponential, we are sort of at the beginning of that exponential uptake of popularity of, of proton therapy. In the beginning, uh, we really tried to use protons for these very difficult to treat tumors for which really, at least at the time, 15, 20 years ago, conventional radiation therapy had almost nothing to offer. So this is when we started treating these rare tumors that are close to the spinal cord, rare, rare tumors in the eye, rare tumors in the skull base, um, as well as the tumors in children. Uh, although these are all very important indications for radiation treatment, they are simply not in the patient population that is largely affected in an epidemiologic sense by cancer. But then over time, uh, we started applying uh, protons for more frequent diseases, and one of them obviously being prostate cancer. Uh, but right now, we, again, we are really witnessing a, um, a very exciting period uh, where now on a large scale we are starting to explore the feasibility of proton therapy for frequent malignancies. Now that would be lung cancer, that would be breast cancer, would be gastrointestinal cancer. So what we're really trying now within Procures, it's clinical research endeavor, but also across the country in other centers, notably of course some of the very big academic centers that have excellent uh, programs, we're trying to design the clinical trials, the clinical studies that help us to identify the subpopulation of patients for each of these large disease, diseases uh, that will be best treated with protons.